from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. Uh, Monday, August 3rd, Fleming's Hong Kong source said we're a good we're a go for some time. Tuesday, August 4th, the U.S. Treasury team was still celebrating at noon, 12 Eastern time. Monday, August 3rd, they released steps so Tier 4 B us the Internet Group could ob- obtain a secured website that contained instructions on how to obtain an individual 800 number to call and receive a redemption exchange appointment. For 10 days from Tuesday, August 4th to Friday, August 14th, you could exchange redeem at contract rates. Zim holders were asked to redeem in the next four days by Friday, August 7th. Saturday, August 15th, the uh, forward, the general public would begin exchanging at new international rates. Uh, over the weekend, Q warned us that something big was about to drop. The alliance was cracking down on the cabal's deep state human tra- trafficking operations. Um, after their involvement in human trafficking was made public, assets of big e-commerce companies such as Amazon, eBay, Wayfair, and more would be seized by the U.S. government. Meanwhile, our economy was recovering at lightning speed. Even though the cabal was trying to stop it, they couldn't. Patriots were in control. The old swift global monetary system had been replaced with a gold asset back, completely transparent cross-border international payment system, or CP- CIPS. All banks have pinged back done. The dinar has revalued in the Chinese yuan, Zimbabwe Zim, and USDN were now gold asset backed and trading internationally at their new rates. 